Welcome back everyone, Munoz here with Northern Lights TV, back with another video for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on that bell notification so you get notifi notified whenever I drop some new content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, so I was at the gun store the other day, uh, planning my new purchase. So whenever I, I'm, I know I'm gonna purchase a new handgun, I like to shop around, I go to two or three different gun stores, see what they have to offer, see what they have in stock, and who has the best overall deal. Now I went into the gun store to plan my new purchase, and I had no intention of purchasing a firearm that day, I just want to go look around. But I ran into, first of all, a great deal and something that I was specifically looking for, not, not as far as the gun, but the qualities of the gun. or. Uh, what I wanted the gun to have. So I was planning my new purchase because I needed a new travel slash truck gun, right? Something that I can travel with. I'm, I'm about to start a new job that's gonna require me to travel. Um, so, you know, I'd, I have to check the firearm in. I didn't wanna take uh, like a super expensive firearm where, you know, TSA might give me uh, some problems and try to com confiscate my gun. Uh, I didn't want a super expensive gun because like I said this is will act as my truck gun as well um, so something that I could just leave in the truck and for whatever reason you know God forbid it gets stolen um, it wouldn't hurt my pocket so much and I wouldn't be so upset because I knew that I was it was a cheap gun so I went to the gun store and like I said I wasn't planning on purchasing anything but I just ran into something that met uh, what I was looking for and a great deal and the, ga the gun that I landed on was, you can tell by the box here, uh, I landed actually on the Taurus G2S. Now, I know you're probably wondering, you know, why the G2S, why not the G2C or the G3C? Um, so we're gonna get into that, and I know some of you are probably wondering, why didn't you just carry your Shield Plus, uh, which has 10 round capacity, uh, we'll get into that as well, but first I want to get into the unboxing of this pistol So let's get a closer look and see what comes inside the box All right, here we go. So the Taurus G2S. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what comes inside the box. Of course, you get your Taurus coupons. They always want you to save some money. So we got our Taurus coupon there for a laser. Another coupon. Limited lifetime warranty. Of course, your gun lock. Don't throw these away, guys. Uh, I know we, most of us, I should say, don't use them but you can find some good use for these you know if you want to lock something up maybe use it as a, like a lock for the bike or something like that those come in handy i wouldn't recommend throwing those away and then of course we get our tourist manual make sure you read through these guys uh this is very very important they don't just put these in here it, it'll tell you about cleaning and maintenancing your gun uh, so make sure you read your manuals uh and then of course we have our handgun here. I'll take that out in just a bit. Uh, one thing that I really liked about this purchase, all the other reviews that I've seen on the G2S, everybody's like, oh, you know, mine came with two magazines. Well, with this purchase, I feel pretty special because mine actually came with three magazines. So these are uh, seven round magazines. They are metal magazines. So here's one, here's the second magazine. And then the other magazine is in the pistol. So let's go ahead and take that out. And there you go, the Taurus G2S. Just so you guys can see, nothing in that magazine. And we are empty. So if you're familiar with Taurus pistols, um, if you have one, you pretty much 
know how they come and all the specs and stuff like that but i'm still going to break it down for you guys uh maybe you haven't purchased a taurus pistol before and you're looking to purchase a new pistol uh and you don't have a bunch of money to spend on a handgun well taurus has you covered so first of all starting from the bottom we have this very 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 nice aggressive uh grip texture that's almost kind of like a stippling job reminds me of a lot of the mmp so it allows you to get a good grip on the handgun we do have this thumb uh indentions here uh, they kind of serve as memory pads so when you're holding your gun you know you can place your thumb there and hold it uh, this one does come with a thumb safety so i believe the early models the g2s g2c and the early models of the G3C all came with manual safeties. Um, manual safeties do not bother me. I know some people hate manual safeties, but if I buy a gun, I'm not gonna not buy a gun just because it has a manual safety. I just won't use it. Um, use it to probably rest my thumb on there with the grip, you know what I mean? Uh, but they never bother me. If you don't like manual safeties, just don't use it. You do have your serrated slide lock, slide, uh, slide, lock, slide release there. Uh, that works pretty well take down lever on both sides we'll take it down here in a second and then our magazine release also serrated and then we do have that uh, double strike capability on the trigger so basically what that is if you don't know if you press the trigger and the round doesn't go bang you have the ability to let out the trigger and try it again I haven't had to do that yet um, I do have the G3X that has the same double strike capability on the trigger but I never I haven't had to use it yet I haven't had any malfunctions with that you do get your accessory rail here for your lights and lasers square trigger guard with a little bit of an undercut you do have uh, white dot sights now these sights uh, are plastic I, I think that's like the only downside so out here but they they you can adjust them for windage and elevation which is good so just regular white dot sights they do the job i really like these sights and you also have a uh, loaded chamber indicator if you can read right there it says loaded when up so basically whenever you have a round in the chamber this will go up right here and then you see that little red right there that lets you know that you have around in the chamber so if it's low light condition and uh you have to use your firearm you don't know if there's one already in the chamber you can feel it as well so that's pretty cool they they don't really make guns like that anymore on the other side you can see we have our g2s nine millimeter takedown lever and that's pretty much it let's see the trigger pull here you can see quite a bit of take up but you do hit a defined wall and you get a nice break and then your reset right there so really short reset i like that i have not fired this gun but i think it'll be just as good as my g3x but a really nice looking pistol now um i know you guys are probably wondering why i went with this gun and i didn't just carry or travel with my shield plus uh so these are seven round magazines i wanted something with good capacity but i didn't want you know a lot of some states not all states have um a limit on how many rounds you can carry and i know most of them are 10 rounds but like our my neighbor i live in texas but like my neighbor new mexico they're getting ready to vote on that uh house bill 50 which will limit the number of rounds that you can carry in a handgun to i believe it's nine so even if i wanted to carry my shield plus i could not take if that bill does pass hopefully it doesn't um, i would not be able to carry my shield plus in new mexico it would be illegal so i wanted something with a little less capacity just so it didn't matter where i went um, in the states i would be good to go except for new york right but i didn't want to have to be switching from this handgun to another handgun i did just get rid of my original shield um, which was, I guess you could say bad timing, uh, cause I could have carried that. But when I went to the gun store, when I was looking for another gun, I did look at another regular shield, but the price on this, man, I just couldn't pass up on it. 
so you get the handgun seven round capacity i did order a plus one magazine extension from uh, lakeline llc and it should be here so that's going to allow me to carry nine rounds eight in the magazine one in the chamber but for three magazines and the handgun guys i got this at my local gun store for 199 that is a great deal 199 three magazines and the firearm you know i don't think i could have found a better deal when i was looking at the original shields they were all um mid 300 to 400 dollars so i got this basically for half the price um like i said i went to the gun store and i was not looking to purchase a firearm but i just could not pass up on that deal i'm gonna take it apart for you guys so you can see we have our trigger mechanism there take out our guide rod our barrel and then we have our slide put it back together just do everything in reverse there we go um going over the specifications on this firearm so it does have a three and a quarter inch barrel uh, overall length of 6.3 inches uh, it has an overall height of 4.8 inches, an overall width of 1.1 inches, and an unloaded weight of 20 ounces. So, pretty light firearm. Uh, I'm not sure what it weighs loaded, but I'll find out for you guys. I'm going to bring out my G3X here just for comparison. Uh, one good thing about these firearms, and I'll let you see right here just so you guys can see, this is unloaded we are clear the barrel and the slide are actually the same so it's great because we have holster compatibility so that's the g2s the g3x it'll fit right in there of course the g3x comes with the 15 round magazine it is a double stack handgun um, but i was playing around with this and i actually found out that the slides um, are interchangeable so I was messing around with it. I don't know if it'll actually work, um, but I will test that out for you guys at the range. So here I have my G3X frame. Great, great handgun, guys. Um, definitely recommend it. You guys can go watch my review on this handgun. I also have a range review on it. But if I take my G3X frame and put my G2S slide on here, you can see right there, it fits just fine. Trigger works reset put my magazine in and it locks back so i could convert this g2s into a double stack uh, firearm how cool is that right and then if i put my g3x slide get that camera to focus one second if i put my g3x slide on my uh g2s frame you can see fits just fine trigger works reset double strike put my mag in here so if i want to just have like an all black firearm i guess i could throw on my g3x got my forward slide serrations there but yeah i don't know if this will actually work but i'll definitely test it out for you guys at the range uh, and I'll let you know if it actually fires. Uh, it looks like it will. I mean, everything seems to be the same and it seems to work just fine. But I'll test it out. Put these back together. And like I said, they are compatible with the holsters. So I already had a holster for my G3X. Gritter holster. There we go. I don't know if you guys have tested this firearm out. I know it came out a couple years ago. Uh, like I said, for the price, I just couldn't beat it. Uh, definitely gonna take it out to the range and see how it performs. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, this will potentially be my travel slash truck gun. I will not know that until I test it out. 
Uh, I'm not just gonna start carrying it. I have been wearing it around the house uh, just to get a feel for it. I've been dry firing the heck out of it, so I'm trying to break that trigger in. I did clean it and lube it up so it's ready to go for the range. Um, I believe I'll probably be going next week. So we'll test it out, see how it does on reliability. Um, like I said, I won't actually carry it until I do that. Uh, I don't want to just start carrying a gun that I have not tested out, put a whole bunch of rounds through it, just like my G3X. Um, I have like a thousand rounds through it, no failures. Definitely recommend that gun. Um, but like I said, I wanted something with good capacity, okay capacity. This is seven plus one. As you can see, I can basically get two and a half fingers on there. Uh, if you can see that so we'll see how it works out shooting I did order that plus one like I said from L um, Lakeline L LLC that'll give me a full grip on it um, but all the reviews that I've seen on this gun it's worked fine uh, nobody's had any issues with it so I'll go to the range next week test it out like I said my potential travel carry gun um, I'm sorry not carry but truck gun uh, so if you guys are looking for something to keep in your truck to you know something not super expensive like my shield plus if that were to get stolen I'd be devastated this yeah I'd be upset but not so much you know $199 is not a big hit um, so like I said I don't want TSA giving me a hard time seven uh, rounds I can carry it check it in and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully, it works out fine for me. All right, so that'll pretty much do it for today's video. If you guys do have any questions on this Taurus G2S, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, maybe some of you guys own this gun. Is it your EDC? I did see a lot of people on YouTube uh, when they reviewed this gun. They said that this was their EDC or their wife's EDC. So it leads me to believe it's actually a really good gun. Um, excited to take it out to the range. There will be a range review coming on this pistol very, very soon. So stay tuned. Like I said, make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys get notified when I drop these videos. Uh, leave a comment down below. Make sure you like the video. As always, guys, stay protected. Keep it on you. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one.